Check this out, y'all. Got some more case law for y'all. Y'all know what we do over here. We read the facts. Grand jury can investigate merely on suspicion. The United States Supreme Court and United States versus William went on to say the grand jury's functional independence from the judicial branch is evident both in the scope of its power to investigate criminal wrongdoing and the manner in which that power is exercised. Unlike court whose jurisdiction is predicated upon a specific case or controversy, the grand jury can investigate merely or suspicion that the law is being violated or even because it wants assurance that it is not. It need not identify the offender, its, its suspects, or even the precise nature of the offense it is investigating. The grand jury requires no authorization from this constituting court to initiate an investigation, nor does the prosecutor require leave of court to seek a grand jury indictment. In its day-to-day -day functioning, the grand jury generally operates without the and the fairness of a presiding judge. It swears in its own witnesses and deliberates in total secrecy. We have insisted that the grand jury remain free to pursue its investigation un unhindered by external influence or supervision so long as it does not trench upon the legitimate right of any witness called before it. Recognizing this tradition of independence, we have said that the Fifth Amendment constitutional guarantee presupposes an investigative body acting independently of either prosecuting attorney or judge. At the bottom here, got some case laws as you can see. So you can look this up yourself. All the facts and everything we need is right in front of us people. I'm out. Till next time. Peace.